You know, it's really a time to be careful because a lot of people are capitalizing on fears of individuals and touting that high dose vitamin infusions can boost the immune system. Now, I did say that vitamin deficiencies can lead to increased risk of infections, such as certain types of pneumonias, but a high dose vitamin infusion is not medically recommended, has not been proven in the scientific literature to have any beneficial effects in terms of fighting COVID-19 or preventing infection. And in fact, these high dose vitamins that are given intravenously can be very toxic in such high doses. It's very different to take a pill than it is to get something intravenously because when you take a pill, it undergoes something called first pass metabolism, which is basically your digestive system screening out things and only selectively absorbing certain things into the body. The rest come out in waste. But when you get something IV, everything goes right into the body and right into the liver. And this can have serious and significant effects, not just from the medicine that you're getting, but the fact that the liver is processing something IV that it otherwise would have received by oral route. So IV medications and IV vitamins, especially in high doses, can be very toxic, can lead to not just side effects like kidney stones and other problems with vision, but it can also lead to problems like damage to the liver or inflammation in the liver. Now, if you think you may need vitamins or you may be deficient, really the best way to know is to have a blood test. Go to ninehealthfair.org, sign up for one of the low cost screenings, have your blood test checked so that you're working off of data and information. And then either talk to your doctor or call the Nine Health Neighbors line to try to understand whether or not you would benefit from having vitamin replacement.